Welcome to TechRazor's Dharma. In this video, we are going to learn how to use aggregate transformation in map and data flow. So often we have to do some group buys and find out those sums and counts and all those different things. And this aggregate transformation is very helpful. So let me take you how exactly we do aggregates. And then this is pretty much the same aggregate what you have used in T-SQL or any other language. So this is no different, but you will be using as a graphical. Here I have this total sale table. And if you see here, I have region. Now, if I would like to get the total list of the items sold and then sum up for the item sold price, then I can write some query here in SQL. How I do that, I will say select and then I will say region because I want to select the region. Now, if I, I want to get the count of uh, items, I'm gonna say count and items sold. Then I will say as a total item sold. Okay, now we have the, uh, we have used here uh, the count and then uh, next uh, what we wanna do, we wanna use a sum function here. So we will say sum of uh, sold price and uh, that will give us uh, the total sold price. Uh, so I'm gonna call it a total sold price and then uh, once uh, we have that uh, we want the counts and uh, we want uh, some of those uh, prices uh, but according to the region uh, so we have to say from table the your total sale and then uh, group by our table uh, column name so see here we are selecting only region so this is going to give us uh, all those uh, calculated values uh, so total item sold in that region and uh, then uh, total uh, item uh, price uh, now if i want to add more columns uh, i can simply go ahead and say country here because i have the country and then i have to add uh, the country in the group by as well um, so this is a very simple and easy transformation or uh, the way how you find the, the sum values so now you can see that we have region in europe but we have country added to it um, so two items were sold and uh, the 7100 is the total sold price then we have data for Germany, same way we have data for Asia and North America. Now you got the idea how exactly the aggregate works. So this is exactly what we are gonna perform in our uh, demo in the Azure Data Factory. So let's create a table and then uh, we have this uh, file here. First of all, let me show you the file that we will be using them. So we have total sale file here that contain the same data what I showed you in the table. So we have data for Asia, North America, and for also for Africa as well. So we have a region here that we will be using for a group by, and then we have item sold and the sold price. So we'll be using those columns as well. Now, uh, let me create a table. That's where we would like to read the CSV file and load the data. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this table called DBO create table and I'm gonna call it uh, sales summary, okay? So sales summary is going to have uh, you know, columns such as maybe you wanna add ID, integer, identity, just for uh, you know numbering. And then uh, what we have, we have region, and uh, that's gonna be worker. And then uh, next, uh, what you would have, uh, you have country if you like, so worker as well. And uh, then uh, next part, what we are gonna have, uh, total items sold and uh, this is going to be integer and uh, then the total sale price okay and integer as well so that's it so your table is ready in the azure sql database and uh, this table uh, will be loading from the file um, let's go to the azure data factory and here we have data flow go to data flow here new data flow and uh, add a source uh, and we know that our file is CSV file, so we are going to create a data set pointing to the Azure Blob Storage and then choose that file. So now select the link service or create new one. Here you will be providing your subscription and then Blob Storage. In my case, it's a tech storage and we are good here. And now we will navigate to the file called the total sale. Right there, total sale is there. So now it has header yes, and then now we are gonna hit okay. If you go to the projection, you see that all the columns, the schema or data type it got, it said that it is a string. That's fine for us. I wanna actually show you a few things. Once we will use the aggregate, and here we are gonna use the aggregate function, sorry, transformation. Now we have aggregate here, and it is asking you, you wanna name it, so it is aggregate one. I'm gonna call it AGG, uh, total sale. So that's a nice name. 
Now we would like to group by, so if you remember, we would like to group by region. And uh, in this case, let's do just region first uh, and uh, leave the country for later. And in the aggregate, uh, what we want to do, we also, uh, here we are going to add those uh, columns. Uh, I'm going to call this one, uh, if you remember, let's keep the same column names. Uh, we can call it uh, item sold and uh, total item sold is uh, the counter. So here, I'm just going to paste that name. And now here in expressions, uh, you're going to write that expression. Uh, open the expression builder. And uh, remember, we use count the same way in TC Cola. And we have a count of items sold. So I just uh, use the item sold here and hit finish here. Or you can go ahead and create a new column here as well. Um, so you can create a second column and uh, then go for that. Uh, here, uh, the second column can be, if you remember that, uh, uh, total sold price. And here we will be using sum. Uh, so sum, and then uh, if you remember that, uh, the sum is a sold price. Uh, that's uh, just fine. And now we have uh, two things here. We have total item sold that we are taking count. And then we have total so sold price uh, that we are doing sum. Uh, here you see that uh, it's saying sum is expecting a number. That's fine. And if you guys see that in the projection, uh, we have seen that uh, even our data is a number. The schema it brought or the data type detected it was brought as a string sold price if you remember here string so we can go to the change to the integer so now let's go back to aggregator and the error has been removed now we are all good here we don't have to do anything here if you want to add more columns here you can click right there add a column and add a column pattern we'll have another video on add column patterns and learn a few things about that now we are gonna just leave this as it is and uh, go to group by now as of now we are only grouping by region and uh, aggregating by these two columns what we ha have here so count and sum now we have three columns i'm going to go to sync here and then uh, just uh, use our table that we just created uh, azure sorry sql and uh, here we will select that table summary so let's create a new link service and here I'm going to use my subscription and then uh, I will be using my server name and then I will be using my uh, database name TechBrotherDB and uh, then uh, we will provide uh, the username TB user and then uh, we will provide uh, the password. Uh, let's test. Test is successful. Our link service is ready. Now we are going to go to the tables and here we are going to select a sales summary. Now yes, uh, let's uh, get the schema from the destination. Fine. And now we will go to the mapping. If you go to the mapping and click on auto mapping, you're going to see that it already had map region to region. And then there's no country, so it's leaving as blank. And then sold items is a map to this total sold items. And here sold price. So I have to actually map this one by myself because the total sold price. So here is the sole price and here is the sale price. So that's why the column name was not able to match. So it's a good idea always to take a look on the auto mapping and then see if there is a column missing or you have a different name to map that. Now we should be all good here. And what we are going to do, we are going to go to the pipeline. Here we will create a new pipeline. And then we are going to drag our data flow to. So we can hit the debug and it should get the data from total sale file and load the data to the summary table. Let's go and take a look here on summary table. I'm going to just uh, copy this and go all the way here and then uh, show you guys the data from uh, total sale. As of now, data is not loaded because our pipeline is in execution. It's in progress right now. Let's wait for the completion and then we'll take a look on the data again. Our data flow and pipeline has been some, uh, completed with success. Uh, now let's uh, take a look on the data. And here uh, we can see that uh, we have data. IDs uh, is uh, auto identity as I told you. And uh, then uh, we have a region. So we have different regions. And then we have total uh, items sold in those regions. And then total so items uh, sold price. Uh. Now country is missing uh, because uh, we did not uh, have this in group by. We can go back and fix that. Um, so let's go back here. Go to the aggregate here. And now we will go group by and add, and add another column. Click on add button. And here I'm going to select a country. Now this should be all good here. And this is coming as a country. If you want to rename that as to some, something like country name or you have different table names. Um, maybe in table you have country name instead of country. So it's a good idea. You can always rename here. 
Now, uh, this looks fine and uh, we can go back to our destination and uh, here we have four columns and uh, now let me do auto and uh, let's uh, bring it back here. So we have uh, right there and uh, at least one in current column is magnet is uh, this. Okay, fine. So go to sync here and uh, now we have four columns here. Let's do the aggregate here. Looks good. So we can see the data if you want. Uh. So now you can see that we have region, we have country, total item sold and so total uh, sold price. So let's go back here and uh, now we are going to go to mapping here and uh, then uh, click right there or uh, we can always go ahead and uh, reset and uh, it's bringing all those columns. Uh. Now what is the uh, region is mapped, the country is mapped and total item sold is uh, total item sold here and the total sold price is right there and ID is the identity column so we don't have to worry about that. So this looks good and uh, what I'm going to do on the sync side, I'm going to go to map in here, settings here and I'm going to truncate the table. So on each of the load, I truncate the table and reload, that's what I'm telling it here. So we are all good here, let's go to pipeline here and then debug again. Huh? This time uh, we should have the country name as well as part of our data loading. Huh? So now let's go back here, take a look on the summary, it's going to take a few seconds and then it should load uh, the data. Finally, our data flow has been completed successfully. It took two minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, I don't know, somehow, somewhere it take time. But anyways, uh, that's not a whole lot of data. It shouldn't take that much time. Uh, and let's go ahead and take a look here. So first of all, let's uh, click on details here and uh, we can uh, see some uh, information there. So let me see, this is source one. You have 12 rows and then uh, you did aggregate and you have total six rows. Uh, now after the sync, uh, six rows has been uh, um, inserted to the sync. Uh, let's go right there and uh, take a look and uh, we should be good here. And now you can see that we have region data and with the country and uh, then we have a uh, total item sold and uh, then a total price. Uh, so this is how you will be using uh, aggregate uh, transformation in data flow and uh, grouping by with the different columns and uh, using different uh, aggregate functions such as count, sum and all that. Now I will uh, go ahead and uh, use this uh, uh, link uh, to download the total sale table and also I will put uh, this uh, query in the description so you can test by yourself. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.